We're from Archimedes Digital. Over the last five years, we've been working on cross-platform web, mobile, and AR, VR apps, um, such as you, you can see here, for several excavations as uh, long-term partners. Um, some of our original goals starting out with this um, were to display archaeological data directly where it was discovered and create an interface that can be used to construct both site or object narratives equally to empowering researchers to interrogate their collections with search, uh, 3D search interfaces like this one. Um, we hope to empower expert users with advanced search tools and live access to geodatabases and shapefiles while also enabling both curators and students to construct guided tours of their data for the general public. Um, so one of the most significant challenges of all of this was creating this design system to provide a cohesive experience across mobile, tablet, desktop, AR, and VR platforms. And with that, I'll turn it over to Demir, who knows more about this, to talk through how we did it. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you, Luke. Hello, everyone. Um, Yes, yeah, so I'll take you on a tour of how we uh, uh, created this design system. Um, can I get a, just a quick show of hands? Who knows what a design system is? A few people. Who knows maybe a little bit about, that might have a little bit of an idea of what it might be about. A few more people. Okay, cool. So um, I'll start with the basics. So um, uh, in a nutshell, um, design systems um, are an extension of systems thinking. Um, and whether you're aware, in it, aware of it or not, uh, you interact with products derived from systems thinking every day. So, um, an example, Lego blocks. Um, uh, every Lego block is kind of unique, but they follow a consistent standard so they can plug and play with the other Lego blocks. Makes it easy for kids when they learn one set of uh, pieces how to use a, a new one. Um, IKEA. Uh, there's a certain IKEA um, aesthetic and uh, even for parts that are or furniture that is a little bit more unique uh, there are usually standard IKEA parts and screws that it's made of um, and this reduces cost for IKEA because then they can then mass produce these products um, and uh, Apple as well um, it's really quite easy for people to move from one Apple product to another if they already know one they already kind of like half know how the next one works. Um, the opposite to uh, systems design is bespoke design, where you start a project and you handcraft every button, uh, element, select box, everything. Right? Um, and bespoke design is fine, but it's usually more, more expensive, um, which means that if you're on a tight budget, you might um, find it easier to go with uh, uh, a design system. Um, so, uh, yeah, basically the point of a design system is to desi design scale to build high quality cohesive products um, and you can do it across all digital platforms and to do it fast. So I'll give you an example. Um, this is our flagship product at Archimedes Digital, um, Orpheus, that we're working on. Um, and here we have a design system across uh, VR, um, desktop, laptop, mobile, and smartwatch as well. Um, in this example, it's a VR experience of, or a 360 experience of the Giza Plateau in Egypt, um, where you can kind of explore the space virtually on a VR headset or on a laptop. Um, so what you'll notice here is that we use common typography, common colors, um, and common um, UI components across these uh, different platforms. Um, to deliver a consistent experience. So, starting with the virtual reality headset, um, uh, here you would be, you know, you would be on the ground with the pyramids around you, and you would have this UI in front of you. Go zoom in on the UI. Um, you can select Start Tour to start the tour, um, which would then take you to the to the the tour would start then, and an audio narration would start as well. Um, zooming in on that, uh, if you look at the sidebar there, you'll uh, see that on what I'll show you next on laptop, on, on mobile as well, it's consistent. We use the same kind of, um, yeah, with the same class of, of uh, component across all these different uh, uh, platforms. 
Um, so here's the laptop experience of Orpheus. Um, it's the same content that you've seen back here, um, but it's adjusted to the uh, laptop uh, uh, form factor. Right? Um, but the core features are the same. So you click the Start Tool button there, um, and the tool would start. And if I zoom in on that, um, and again, um, same colors, typography, components. <laughs> And next I'll show what this looks like on mobile. So you'll see that the sidebar there will move to, uh, to the bottom of the mobile. So now it's there because you have different limitations on desktop. Uh, you have a lot of horizontal real estate. On mobile you have more vertical real estate. But it's the same component. Um, so next I'll show you how this uh, is, works on smartwatch. So just basically take that, and if I zoom in on the smartwatch, um, you can see that we just adjust it to, to the smartwatch, but the same content, same feature, um, and same component. Cool. Um, so that was an example of how we, of, of our design system um, at work. Um, and um, uh, I'll give you some, so our design system recipe next. Uh, so first thing to do is to not reinvent the wheel um, this is I can't stress this enough especially on like small uh, budget projects um, you don't want to be designing every single select box and radio button and having everything completely bespoke that takes a lot of time right what you want to do is you want to grab something you know you, you want to already grab like these ready-to-go Lego pieces and Google offers that with um, the material design um, so material design is basically a set of components, UI components, a typographic system, color system, and you just customize it, you tweak it so it looks like your product, so it doesn't look like every other group product. Um, and with that, um, uh, yeah, Google gives you with this a whole bunch of stuff, um, color system, so you specify the colors and then Google, uh, uh, the material design then, then adjusts the components to your colors typographic system, animations, buttons, forms, selection controls, navigation, sliders, all these things ready to go so you don't have to, it's more like assembly work that you do, creative assembling of pieces rather than having to start from scratch. Um, so what we then do is we customize material design um, and we use our design system is um, Figma. Um, so, uh, uh, sorry, our design uh, tool is Figma and um, we, there is a template on Figma where you can just grab material design Figma file, customize it. So you customize the colors um, uh, and the typography to suit your product. Um, and the, the file basically then spits out your theme um, and gives you an overview of your type, of type uh, color system and so on. And it then themes all these components for you. Um, and this maybe takes an hour's work and you've got all these components ready to go. Um, icons as well. Um, and then what we do is we build upon it. So with the material design as a foundation, we have maybe 30% of our UI just be material design components and maybe 70% is what we build on top of that. Um, but that 30% of time saves a lot of time not having to do that. Um, and again, example, the typographic system, um, the colors that we use, the icons, or Google um, material design, how we assemble it and put all this together is our own bespoke creative work. Um, so just quickly, some tips. Um, default to simplicity and consistency. Um, this consistency makes it easier, makes it uh, takes less time to, to code up, also easier for users because they can move from one platform to the next and they're already kind of familiar with it. Um, and to have one source of truth, um, we use uh, a, a whiteboard in the cloud to start off with, um, where we collaborate on that and then things move into code. We use, a, we use React, I won't get into that, um, and uh, a you are, you are library there, so basically our design system lives in the code base itself, which is the most accurate uh, representation of it. 
Um, and you can uh, check this out on storybook.orphi.us if you want to see it for yourself. Um, and uh, yeah, so you might say, okay, how does this relate to archaeology? Well, um, it relates really to any product, any project that you work on, because you, you'll be faster and um, uh, it's more money wisely spent, especially for, for long to mid um, budget projects. Right? Um, so this is just 10 minutes, only enough to scratch the surface. Um, you can follow us here if you want to find out more about this. We'll put these templates up on, on our website and on the blog. Um, some recommended reading there in the slides as well. I really recommend the designbetter.co website, uh, which basically gives you a rundown on how to create a design system. So thank you for your time.